Hello, in this video I'm going to show a simple solution for the Carnot model. So let's begin. We're going to have two firms, each with the same marginal cost equal to 2. That's important. We have a market demand given by the following. And we're going to solve for the price elasticity of demand. So here is the equation for the price elasticity of demand. We're going to take the derivative of the market demand equation facing these uh, two firms in this Carnot market. And we get back minus 0 0.5. And that is going to be multiplied by P divided by Q. And what am I putting in for Q? I'm just substituting in the in demand. And just simplifying here, or rewriting. The important part of this solution is to recognize that the marginal revenue for a Carnot firm is given by the following equation. You might have seen something like this before for a monopoly. The big difference here is we have this N in front of the price elasticity of demand, where this N represents the number of firms. In our example, N is going to be 2. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to calculate uh, 2 times the price elasticity of demand. So I have a price elasticity of demand here, and I'm just going to multiply it by 2. So 2 times the price elasticity of demand. This 2 times minus 0.5 is just minus 1. So we get minus 1p over the following. We maximize profit by setting marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. So our marginal cost is 2. So MR now is equal to marginal cost, or 2. And I am going to substitute in 1 over 2 times the price elasticity of demand. So I am putting in the reciprocal of this result here. So this result, I'm putting 1 over that into our formula, because that's what our formula calls for, 1 over 2 times the price elasticity of demand. So we get this result, this minus P I'm just putting out in front here. And now it's just a matter of solving this for P. So P times 1, and then P multiplied by this last term in parentheses, the P's are going to cancel, and we just get this. So make sure we distribute this minus sign correctly, minus 13, minus times minus, we get a plus here. Adding 13 to both sides, P plus 0.5P is 1.5P. So we get a market price of $10. Plugging that $10 into our market demand, the total quantity demanded in the market at a price of $10 is 8 And since we have two firms, each with the same marginal cost, this output will just be split evenly between these two firms. So each firm will produce four units of output, just 8 divided by 2. And that is our answer. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.